CG. Holy smokes. You know, having a green screen available to us here at the Washington Library is sure a lot of fun. Let me show you how you can set up to use it. The first thing you're going to want to do is to find the written instructions. Everything that you need to do has also been written down, so really you don't even need this video and you could just read. I mean, we're in a library. We start by setting up the lights. You put the green screen lights in their place and point them at the green wall. The goal is to light up that wall as evenly and as much as possible. So watch out for dark spots, especially in the corners. Next, you need lights for the subject of your video, the person that you're going to be recording. You don't want to be casting shadows on the green screen, so it's best to take a step forward away from the wall. Point the diffuse lights at the subject, as well as switching on the spotlight behind them so they get a little more separation from the green screen. You also might want to turn off the room lights so that you have a little bit more control over the environmental lights. Place the microphone stand and adjust the boom and angle with the goal of having it as close to the talent as you can without having it be in the shot. Next, you turn on the camera. Now jump over to the computer and launch the remote software and connect it to the camera. Now we're going to use a piece of software called OBS to capture the feed from the camera and record it into a video file. OBS is really cool and you could configure it to key out the green screen and put you in front of whatever image you want for your recording, and if that's all that you want to do, then great, you can do it in one shot. But me, I like to capture the footage with the green screen intact so that I can key it out in my editing software later. Now, this step is super important, so don't forget it. Flip back over to the remote software, and while your subject is in front of the camera, click the AF button to lock the focus on them. Jump back to OBS and click the Start Recording button to record your footage. When you're done, hit Stop Recording, and there you go. You've got a green screen video that you can... Well, what are you going to do with this green screen footage? I mean, I'm not going to tell you everything that you could do, but here's a few cool ideas. Why not replace the background with a gently moving motion graphic to make your spoken presentation just a little bit easier to look at? Or... You could put like a PowerPoint behind you with the points that you want to highlight. Of course, if you're really ambitious, you could use 3D software like Blender to make a dynamic set and insert yourself into it. Speaking of which, I think Igor's done. And that's it. Are we ready? Throw the switch, Igor! <laughs> yes! Turn it off now. How do we... How do I get out of here? Igor? Igor! Oh, man. Always going off the lunch, Jesse. Maybe... No? Ah. Uh.